Well, y'all, they say, uh, how do you know you got a motor guide trolling motor? Joke is because you're working on it. Uh, this one here at my last tournament, the night before the tournament, just started not powering up for whatever reason. Took it all apart, checked all my wire, and nothing was wrong. Wired battery straight to the control board, nothing, nothing worked. I pulled it back to the Airbnb and it started working miraculously. It made it through the tournament the next day. It did shut off twice, but powered right back up. So I came home, I ordered a new, I guess it's called a control board. It's the only thing in there that can go wrong with it as far as powering up and, and not working. So uh, this is the Motor Guide XI3 24 volt model. And we're gonna put a control board in it today. So I've got, uh, the control board here, I got it from uh, controlmotorparts.com. It can look a little intimidating. There's only like six or eight screws that hold this thing together. I paid $195.95 and it took three days to get this. Um, if you'll look, this wire I know is for my uh, NEMA system. These two wires, I'm not sure exactly what they'll go to. I think they go up for the GPS system part of it. And then this little thing right here is the antenna that makes your remote control work. So I've not looked up any YouTube videos on this. I'm completely winging it. I know I need a screwdriver, a long screwdriver because up in this head unit, the screws are pretty far up in there. So I'm gonna start by taking all my covers off, get all that pulled apart, and then we'll see where we're at from there. Okay, so here you'll see I've got the covers pulled off. This just slides up and out. And then if you'll depress the little foot pedal, and then you can reach in here, I'm trying to do this with one hand, you can pull this little plug loose, and this little thing just comes right up. That's just your lights and all that's all that is. Then you'll see the little black piece here. That's what your antenna is gonna to attach to. You can pull that up. I don't know if I'm gonna have to take this foot pedal mechanism out. I don't think I will. No, I don't think I will. I can see all the screws there's right there. There's one in this corner here, a wire screw there. This just pulls up and out. And then there's the other two wires that I was talking about that goes up for my GPS. And you'll see this uh, dielectric grease on all these. It's going to get all over you, so don't worry about that. Not a big deal. I won't put any back on it. I probably should just to keep corrosion down because this does get wet from time to time. But I'll pull all that out, and then I'll see where I'm at from there. All right, so you can see there's the old one. There's the new one. Something I do suggest for you guys to do is take a picture of where all the wires go on here before you take it apart. I didn't do that, but it's just, I got the video that I'm making you guys to see where they go back at, to look back at if I need to. It's basically red wire on the incoming side, red and black goes to the red wire coming from the trolling motor and the white wire goes by itself and the black wire goes by itself and then the rest of them just plug into the responding colors. So we'll uh, get this other one slid back down in here and see how it goes.
I'm gonna tighten the uh, screw. I'm gonna start all the screws in the mounting plate that mount everything in place before I tighten them. Get them all started. They did have Loctite on them, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue of not putting it back on there. This is tight getting down in here to this stuff, so. And I dropped the screw. Come out of there, buddy. And this part's where a magnet would be nice, but I don't have one. I think I do have a magnetic screwdriver. So I didn't have a magnetic screwdriver. So we're gonna use a pair of scissors. I don't know if you guys can see because of my big head or not, but pulled it right out of there. Stuff like this is all about improvising when you don't have what you need. Oh, and I just learned you don't have to take the front screws all the way out. They're slotted so the thing will slide out of there. And I'm not a professional trolling motor repair man by any means. I'm a guy that likes to fish and don't have the money to pay anybody at a repair shop or I don't have two, three, four months, whatever it is, a waiting time to wait for somebody to fix my trolling motor at a shop. So, the, the new control board does come with new screws for the electronic uh, connections that I'm probably fixing to fight with because y'all can see I got some fat fingers. And actually these are so where I went and helped Ronnie work on his garage yesterday. And they got smashed up pretty good cause uh, I don't know how to use a hammer. So. What's that old saying? Uh, a jack of all trades and a master of none. Oh. And I may have to take some of this back apart here in a minute when I get a little further and realize that I didn't do something right or I'm pretty confident that I am, but I'm also not above screwing up. So I know it's really important not to break that little guy. Probably should have watched a YouTube video on this, but why well, watch one when you can make one, I guess. Let you guys learn from my mistakes. Now, if my fat fingers will work on these little bitty wires right down in here. Actually, we probably need to put this together first. That would probably be a wise idea. Let's put this 
guy back together. And this guy slides right down in there, like so. That guy goes in this little hole, like so. This guy needs to come out from under there so I can get to it. And this guy clips in right here. And he just hangs right out the bottom down here like that. And then we can get these guys plugged back up and put back in their respective little home. I don't remember how that went. Okay, yeah, it just lays right in there. Comes around here. And we got a black one and a white one, so I'm gonna put the black one to the black one. And then the white one to the red one. That's been a little tougher to push back in there. Those are in there. All right, now let's go hook some power to it and uh, see if it works before I put the covers back on. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy back up first so I can hear it beep and know everything's working. There we go. Just lay that there because I have to take it back off here in a second. Now wait for the GPS light to beep. I'll probably have to resync my remote too. If you ever need to resync a remote, the directions of how to do it are in the on the back of your motor guide remote. Oh, it won't get GPS in here. It might, we'll try it and see. Sometimes it won't get GPS in this metal garage, but. All right, let's go ahead and sync the remote to it and see if everything's gonna work. So in order to do that, I have to disconnect the battery, reconnect the battery, and then press and hold both steering buttons on my remote.
guys, everything's working like it should. I'm gonna go ahead and button all this back up. I'll take this back off of here. And this is the part where we find out if we've got all this stuff in here the right way or not, because if we don't, then none of it's gonna lay in there right, so. Let me get my cover for the little antenna thing. It's got a little peel and stick deal on it. Got a little sticker on it right here. Well, I said it did, I can't make it peel off. There we go, it's got a little slot. Let's see here. It goes like that. And then it slides down in a little clip-in spot right in there. If I can make it do it. Just like that. This is the tricky part because once you put that in, then this is hard to plug up. There's that, now if I can get this to stay. All right, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. This has to slide down in there. I've got that on the wrong side. Uh, I gotta unclip these. See, I knew I'd screw something up, guys. So these have to go over that, and that has to lay in the hole. You guys are probably watching at home going, you dummy. But that's all part of it. I didn't go back and look at the video to see how it all laid in there. I tried to use my memory, which uh, ain't that good. that now that guy lays in there like that and then we can put this guy in here the main thing here guys is make sure you don't pinch any wires screwed up again so I've got this was supposed to go down here in a hole I think I can still feed it through there maybe without taking it all back apart Pull that up and 
see. So we got lucky. We got it in there without having to take it all back apart. Now we're cooking with grease. Now we're in there where we're supposed to be. Now we can put these little side covers back on. And if you look, there's a little notch right here and it's got a respective hole that it slides into. And these things can be a pain to line up, so. side is the same way got the little tab here got a little tab here goes in the hole slides in locks in place and you put the screw in
And there you have it, guys. It's not, it's a little bit intimidating when you first look at this stuff. I mean, that looks intimidating to work on. It's not that bad. It's uh, four, five, six, seven, nine screws, I think is what it takes. And as long as you, like I said, take pictures of where your wires go and don't do like I did and run it wrong and then go back and look at your pictures and have to do it two or three times, it's easy. Um, if you like the video, please like it, comment, subscribe, leave me questions. If you guys have any questions about anything, I probably won't take something apart to show you to answer a question, but I'll explain it the best I can. Um, Another video coming up on the DIY side of what I do is probably plasti welding on another kayak, so stick around for that.